Please, your beginner's crew, ladies and gentlemen, beginners for act one on stage, please. Thank you. Tonight for this rehearsal. Oh yeah. So over moon battle parts, definitely. Mm. It's gonna be weird playing a couple against you though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know, it'd just be weird. But I think it's more weird that I have to play someone that's older. Yeah, I get what you mean. But then I think it's even more weird when someone older has to play someone that's younger. I just don't mm. think it works. Right. You gotta head off, but we can go for a quick drink first. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm at the theatre now. Yeah, I know, I know, but <laughs> there's no point in me coming home. I mean, it's only half an hour or so. I'll see you later. Bye, 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 bye. I'm flattered. Well, do forgive me. I was seeking refuge. I, I saw the lights. What are you doing here? Well, the doors were open, inviting me in. Yeah, well, look, you can't stay here. And lo and behold, I find myself in a theatre. A theatre? Really is extraordinary. Yeah, well. <laughs> Let us call it fate. Okay, fate, whatever. It really is extraordinary. 
Is it dark? What? Dark. The theatre. Nothing on. Oh, right, yeah, nothing on. No show tonight. So let me guess. Table, chairs in a circle, a read-through, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Splendid. The start of the journey. Always exciting. And the play? It's a new play. Oh. It's my first. Ah, called? Walking Shadow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Dear old William. Shakespeare is a splendid source of titles, isn't he? And uh, yours? What? Title. Name. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Olivia. Olivia Gray. The fair Olivia. There we are again, eh? <laughs> Which play? Oh, as you like it. No, Twelfth oh. Night. And Gray? For a double score, Gray. Any thoughts? No idea. Mm. Thomas Gray, a minor character in Henry V. Not a very good part. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? Well, no Shakespearean connection, alas. I am Martin Delay. The name will mean nothing to you. It hardly means anything to me. But there was a time. Oh, you used to be an actor. No, Olivia. I did not used to be an actor. I am an actor. Not, I admit, currently overburdened with offers. Oh, it's a tough profession, <laughs> especially when you... Yes? Especially what? Oh, nothing. Especially, you were going to say, for the more mature actor. Well, it is, isn't it? Hmm. We must never abandon hope, Olivia. Never. Look, Martin, I'm sorry, but there will be... So, Olivia, soon, you and, uh... are the director of this walking shadow? What? Oh, yeah, mm. yes, I am. I thought so. That air of authority, that tone of command, unmistakable. You know, I've worked with some splendid women directors, quite splendid. And I say this with regret, Olivia. Some complete and utter bitches. Look, Martin, it's been lovely meeting you, but... Olivia! Oh, come on, Martin, what are you doing? Very palpable hit. Not bad for an old chap, eh? What do you think? Martin, will you please put that down? So, Olivia, walking shadow is fully cast. No gap in the ranks. No. And the cast is how many? Four. Four. Yeah. Let me guess. Two young men and two young women. Yes. The older generation not part of your worldview, Olivia. No, of course not. Of course not it is, or of course not it isn't. Listen, I can only write what I know. And what do you know? I know that I'm getting seriously pissed off with this interrogation. Hello? Oh, hi. You what? You missed the bus? So when? Listen, Sam, I... It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. One of your young actors running late? <sighs> yeah. Unforgivable. I am never late, never first rule of the theatre. You must deal with him firmly. Martin, will you please leave? Yes, yes, you have a reading of your cast of young actors. No time to waste. Now, what shall I do? <laughs> do what? Oh, for my audition. Shakespeare, I think. King Lear, is that all right? William was not averse, Olivia, to catering for the older actor. Look, I don't have a problem with the older actor, okay? There just aren't any yes, my place. Yes, yes, no I heard you. For next time. So I'm there, on the list for your play. Let us be whimsical. Set in an old people's oh, home. This now. is insane! Oh, surely not, Olivia. I am asking for five minutes. 
five minutes. You have the time. You owe me that. Do you understand? Owe oh, you what? I don't even know you. I don't owe you anything for Christ's sake. You owe me. You all owe me. Just keep that bloody sword away from my face. Please? Keep away. You seem nervous, Olivia. There's no need. I'm the one auditioning, not you. Now, can we get on? And just put the sword down and we'll do the audition. No, I need the sword. It's my prop. Oh, come on, Martin. Look, you're a good actor, okay? I can see that. You don't need the prop. You can imagine the sword and so can I. So just give it to me and we'll, we'll, we'll begin. No, I think not. I like the sword. We old actors need our props. Now, can we begin? Ah. child of spleen, that it may live and be a thwart disnatured torment to her. Let it stamp wrinkles on her brow of youth, with cadent tears fret channels in her cheeks. Turn all her mother's pains and benefits to laughter and contempt, that she may feel how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless Child. Thanks, we'll let you know. No! <laughs> She's gone forever. I know when one is dead and when one lives. She's dead as earth. Lend me a looking glass. 
If that her breath will mist or stain the stone, why then she lives? If it be so, it is a chance which does redeem all sorrows that ever I have felt.